my name is Michael Amarillo and I'm with Soy Clave and today uh, for a video blog for Soy we have our guest, our first guest actually, uh, our good friend Luke Westman. How are you doing this morning, sir? Doing good. It was a little bit earlier than I normally get up, but this is good. But the tea is good. The tea is good. The tea, tea over coffee today. Fruity tea is refreshing. <laughs> well, thank you, <laughs> thank you for coming down. We appreciate it, man. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> it's great to be here. Well, we wanted you to come down because um, we worked with Luke in the past, and we um, all worked together on a project called Self Made. It was a, uh, a look into the life of Luke and his uh, history with tattooing and a little bit more about his um, upbringing and um, when we first met uh, and we came up with the idea together talking about producing this thing uh, you were a little hesitant there's some issues about uh, feeling as if you were going to brag or boast and I was kind of saying that the video would be a powerful way to just share information uh, to people that wanted to learn more about you so what's your feedback on that after after the video's out there oh man well obviously been great it's gotten like so many views like tons of people have watched it and and, and amazing responses that uh oh, it feels good man to have people appreciate your uh, your work your life a little bit um but yeah i was definitely hesitant you know you always want to be like a humble artist and uh having somebody like you guys do that piece on me it was just uh it was really cool so, yeah. so what do you think about video now, now that you see yourself on video, you see the video being picked up by blogs uh, such as um, Hype Beast and then the company Us Vs. Them uh, just produced a piece on you yesterday, released it on their website, that also made Hype Beast. Yeah. What do you, what do you think about video in general? Um, man, I, I've, definitely, uh, I've definitely seen the power in it in our modern society, in our culture now, just having... Uh, Having so many people use the internet as a way to connect with everybody and each other um, and video being like a, a extremely direct way for people to just like be there, you know? So it's kind of like uh, extremely important if you want to be relevant in today's society. True. And, and I also noticed that uh, in addition to you using the video, uh, you've been really active on sites such as uh, Facebook and Twitter where the video has been posted as well, but can you give us a little information on what you like to use Twitter for? Yeah, I mean, it goes along with the same lines as just um, kind of staying relevant in, in your trade. I mean, like for me, you know, I'm obviously like, uh, I sell myself, you know, as an artist, so um, being out there is just, it just really keeps people involved in your life keeps them curious, keeps them coming back, see what you're doing. And uh, the more you feed it, the more people are there to eat it. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really nice, you know, it's a nice give and take. But it takes some time, like you really have to work at it. You have to always be like, you know, if you're using Twitter, it's, you know, it's just kind of uh, simple info or simple comments, but it's, it's that. And then I have my business one, I have a business Twitter, I have a, my, my home Twitter, my regular Twitter, um, I have my shop Facebook, my, uh, my blog, I mean, it's, so there's all these things and it's a lot to keep up with. Yeah. But it's also, as I'm keeping up with it, a lot more people, are, I mean, it's like stirring the pot, you know, a lot more people are seeing it. So it's, uh, I mean, for me, I mean, with our today's culture and the youth kind of always on the internet, I mean, if you're always on the internet, they're always going to see you. So it just seems true. appropriate. So I, I remember us talking uh, after the video, people actually reached out to you that you didn't know um, from seeing that on the internet. Um, what was some of the feedback that you got from people, uh, like inspiring or? Like, yeah. What was the feedback? I mean, that was the main thing, just like the inspiration, you know, and uh, getting people writing me like, oh man, you know, your your movie really inspired me. I want to work harder. And uh, man, I mean, that that's just like the flatter most flattering thing. And then at the same time, like shit, I gotta keep working hard because these people are watching me now yeah so um but yeah i mean it's it's so humbling and flattering when people are like man you're inspiring me and i'm just like i gotta keep up with that so where do you see uh yourself in the future using twitter facebook your website your video as well as like the projects you're working on that like with us versus them incorporating that video other videos on you like how do you feel about that like would you what would you like to see um well the future i mean Obviously, you know, everything changes so fast, you know, we, MySpace used to be big and then now it's Facebook and, and Twitter, I don't know, I think it kind of came and it comes and goes, like some of my friends use it, some don't, um, but 
I think for now to stay as current on there as possible because it is the most current thing. It, I mean, it's tying in countries. It's not just tying in a local area. So for me, I'm going to do my best to just keep, keep, you know, keep feeding it information and uh, hopefully people kind of keep wanting to see what I'm feeding it, you know? True. So uh, who knows what the future is going to hold? You know, who knows what the next Facebook's going to be? So all we can do is keep our eyes open and maybe even mold the future a little bit. But for now, I mean, Facebook is a pretty big, powerful source of, you know, uh, putting yourself out there, your company, whatever you use. True. Now, the, uh, the last thing I'd like to point out is that recently on Facebook, you posted a video that you produced, and we talk a lot that we talk about that a lot on Soy Clay because we like to use video, but we also like to see other people uh, taking it into their own hands and sharing content, sharing their information with the world. So, um, give us a little brief description on what you used, what camera, and how you did it. <laughs> so I used the iPhone, the iPhone 4. I mean, you could do anything on that thing. Uh, so I was just playing with doing normal video and then I, they have an app that's like a time lapse. So I did one with a video, like real basic. I had the wrong direction, I think the first one I did, you know, but <laughs> every one, I did three and the third one got, you know, obviously the best. Um, I used a little iMovie, you know, everything's so simple, you know, I'm, I'm there uh, watching a YouTube video on some kid showing me how to, you know, some like 15 year old or 12 year old showing me how to edit my video. And I'm like, man, I got to keep up with this, you know. so. Um, I just think it's great, you know, I think it's so fun and I got, you know, buddies in Ireland that are like, oh man, that was cool, you know, and it's like a two minute video of, uh, of you doing something that you do, you know. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I personally enjoyed the video and uh, I was excited to see that you uh, took matters into your own hand and, and found it valuable enough to, to share your video and you did the, um, you did the video on you doing Flash of, of Roses and yeah. I thought it was awesome, man. Thanks. With the music and all. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, I learned how to put a little song over it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, maybe I'll do some more. We'll see. It took me forever. I was up all night editing that first one. I think I had like four hours of trying to figure out how to chop it and put a song to it. But, you know, obviously the next time was a little easier and then the last time was the easiest. So, Great. yeah, just trying to, you know, keep it fresh, keep people fed. <laughs> so um, if you if you can, just uh, share with people the website they can check you out on, um, like your personal website as well as your business website. Um, Right now, you can just look at LukeWestman.com. There's a, a blog that I try to upload as much as I can. Um, I do it all myself, and I'm traveling a lot, so I'm not always updating it, but I, I at least like two times a week, I got new stuff on my blog that's not on my Facebook. Um, and then my shop, Lucky's Tattoo Parlor, has a, a Facebook that we try to keep really, really current. Um, and then our, our website there is just kind of going under some ma maintenance. So, uh, you know, Facebook, Lucky's Tattoo Parlor, and then just LukeWestman.com for the blog. Um, are the two ways to kind of see what's going on. And the Twitter's the same thing, Luke Westman at Twitter, just to hear me rant and rave or, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of <laughs> say some random stuff. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, man, down, my man. pleasure, man. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for watching uh, this episode or video blog of Soy Clave, and uh, we look forward to hearing your responses or any of the questions that you may have for Luke, and um, stay tuned for more guests and more interesting topics. Thank you very much.